Hey y'all, it's Hillbilly Willie coming at you guys live today for a few dudes reviews. And today I'm down here at one of my favorite places in Charleston, that's right. The one and only Fife Street Brewing. Now, today is West Virginia's birthday. Yes, today is West Virginia Day. So today, I want to have a special stout beer they have brewed here at Fife Street. It's called the Anna Cervesia Stout. Or Anna Cerveza. Not Anna Cervesia. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but I guess it's like the Spanish word for beer, cerveza, and anniversary. Anna Cervesia. The Anna Cervesia Stout. Now, this stout is a mole stout, as they call it, which means it's been brewed with hot peppers. I think they used ancho chilies in it, if I'm not mistaken, so it should have a nice peppery flavor. It's definitely a stout, stout beer. I mean, you guys can see how dark it is. Um, I will say this. I am a fan of stouts, for sure, and I am a fan of spicy things, for sure. So, let's see how this beer is. It's a spicy stout brewed for the anniversary. Now, without any further ado, I will let you guys know this is a pretty heavy hitter on the ABV. This thing weighs in at like 8.3 alcohol by volume. Heavy stout for sure. It smells wonderful. It's got kind of a peppery, thick, heady, like a chocolatey smell. Um, like I said before, now, without any further ado, cheers to everybody at home. Oh my. It's very complex. I will say that. It's got a, uh, wow, kind of like a robust coffee flavor. You don't get a whole lot of like a pepper pepper flavor, but you do get a little back burner of heat, I will say. So I think the stout kind of, it kind of covers up that peppery flavor, you know, it's in the delicate flavors of the pepper themselves versus the heat definitely is transcribed through in this. It's got a little wangy bite on the end. It's actually pretty good. Definitely bitters, definitely on the bitter end, very espresso, black coffee. It almost has notes of a cherry very subtly. And then on the back burner, that heat just kind of sets with you. I mean, like on the second little sip there, that heat just kind of lingers in your mouth after you've taken a couple sips of it. Honestly, it's really good. I mean, for a stout beer. And I like stouts. I like coffee stouts normally. This isn't necessarily a coffee stout, but it does have a coffee-esque flavor. Um, wow. I'm going to have to say, at Five Street Brewing, this Anna Cervasia Stout, man, in the realm of stouts, it's probably at least a solid eight. In the realm of all beers, sometimes, you know, it's just not the right day for a stout. The stout definitely takes a certain kind of person, certain kind of mood, certain kind of, you know, this or that, certain kind of event going on. A lot of people like stouts in the winter, but right now it is the deads of summer. So I'm going to say I do like a stout no matter what the season is. I don't feel like this is the right stout for the summer, though. This is something I would have rather had like in the fall or the winter with that little bite of heat behind it. However, still yet, in the realm of all beers, my rating on this beer, beyond the rating of stouts, my rating on this beer in the realm of all beers is probably actually a little higher. I mean, I want to give this a 10 of 10 in the realm of all beers and an 8 of 10 in the realm of just different stout type beers. Yeah, that's pretty solid, right? <laughs> Anyway, this is Hillbilly Willie here at the one and only Five Street Brewing, coming at you guys live from downtown Charleston for a few dudes reviews. Remember, like, share, subscribe, hit that like button for a few dudes. Hillbilly Willie, signing out. Peace, love, and chicken grease, y'all. Happy birthday, West Virginia.